Hi, in this installation video I will show you how to install short clutch and brake levers for KTM 790 890. For installation of short levers from Rade Garage, we recommend these tools hammer, pliers, Allen key size 5, small screwdriver, socket wrench size 9, extension for the small socket wrench, Allen key size 7, it should look like this, long socket wrench number 13, wrench number 10. To remove the clutch lever, you need to take out this pin, which is secured by special washer. You remove the washer by using small flat screwdriver. You put it on one side, like this, pull it down, and you will use pliers to remove the washer. After we have removed the special washer, you will use small hammer and pliers to take out the pin. Watch out, there is a spring, so don't lose it. To take out the brake lever, you will need first remove this nut securing the pin which is holding the brake lever. To do that, you will use wrench number 10. After we have removed the nut which is securing the pin of the brake lever, we will use Allen key number 5 for removing the pin. After we have removed the pin, we take out the brake lever like this. To prepare the short lever, we take out this adducement ring from the original clutch lever and we will put it on the shorter clutch lever, like this. To prepare the short brake lever, we need to take out this insert. To do that, you will use this long socket wrench number 13. Allen key number 7, similar to this, you put the Allen key into the insert, prepare it like that, and by hammer you take it out. After we have removed the insert, we take out this part, be careful, don't lose the spring, and this adducement ring. We put it on a short brake lever. Again, we will prepare the long socket wrench number 13. We take the insert, prepare it on the short brake lever, and by few hits with the hammer, we pull it inside a little bit. When you put the insert like that, you take the part with the spring. Prepare it like that. You will use the long socket wrench and you will push the insert through all the parts. We will reuse this securing washer for the pin of clutch lever. To reuse it, we need to bend these five teeth. To do that, you need socket wrench number 9, you put the washer on it, like this, then you will need an Allen key size 7, similar to this, you put it on the washer, like this, and then you will use the hammer to punch the Allen key through it. The band of the teeth on the securing washer should look like this. To install the short clutch lever, you need spring from the original clutch lever. 
you put the spring here like this there is a hole in the mounting for the clutch lever and then you will secure it by pin to secure the pin of the clutch lever we use the original securing washer we put the washer on the pin like that then we will use the socket wrench size 9 and with the socket wrench we will press the securing washer so the teeth inside the washer will secure the pin we put the assembled brake lever to the front brake reservoir like this then we use the pin for the brake lever with the thread and then we use Allen key size 5 we will secure the pin of the brake lever with a nut and you will use wrench number 10 now the installation of the short levers from the garage is complete you can enjoy the short levers on the road or off-road.